We wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted high. We wanna see, we wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted high. We wanna see Jesus lifted high. We wanna see, we wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted high. Step by step, we're moving forward, little by little, taking ground. Every prayer, a powerful weapon, strongholds come tumbling down. We want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we're going to see, we're going to see Jesus lifted high. We're going to see, we're going to see, we're going to see Jesus lifted We want to see. We want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we're going to see, we're going to see Jesus lifted high. We're going to see, we're going to see, we're going to see Jesus lifted high. Praise the Lord, Tasty. I'm so delighted by God because of who He is. And yet it's another time that uh, we want to learn the Word of God. And I'm going to pray so that we can begin. Father, we come before you. I want to thank you, God, for yet another time that you have given unto us, O Lord. We know that we, without you, we can do it, O God. How I pray, O oh Father, that you're going to be with us today, O oh Lord. Let us share your word, O oh God. How I pray, O oh Father, that you're going to bless us, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus, O oh God. I want to thank you for your great God. I want to thank you, Father, to oh God, for helping us, O oh Lord, even at this time. Can't take it for granted, O oh Lord. That you've helped us, O Lord, even through it all. When there's COVID-19, O Jehovah God, you've taken care of us. Thank you, Jesus Christ, O Lord. And for those that maybe have been affected in one way or another, I pray, Jesus, that you, you will be with them, O God. I want to thank you for your great God. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Wanna see fire? Praise Jesus. Today, I would just want to share about a poor widow who fed Elijah. And I'm 
just going to start sharing the story. Uh, this time, you know, it's, it's like when you're sharing through the air, it's like, I know some of us are feeling so excited because I know I'm not going to tell some of the kids to go to the naughty corner or something like that. But we also want to thank God for even through this platform, we are able to reach many people and even many people, many other children in the world. So today, we're going to share about sharing. Because uh, at times, you'd find like someone have something and it's like very hard to share to another kid with what you have. Not only that, but we, fa we found out that like some of the kids have even a problem even in sharing. Like even giving out time. Unapewa pesa na mama yako. Na ikifika time ya Sunday, unona shida. Kwenda kupia mungu. And it's something that you, you have been given. So today, we're going to share about sharing. And um, a story is told in the book of 1 Kings 17 about a ranger and this poor window. Uh, this poor window, what do you, you mean uh, when Susan talk about a window? Was, uh, this was a lady who was married, but unfortunately the husband died. So he, she didn't have like a lot of money to feed his son. And what happened was, um, we, we, we find that those people, the, the window and Elijah, they, they read in Israel. And it was a time when there was a lot of wickedness that was happening in that place, in those, that area. A lot of wickedness. And God was angry. And at that time, you know, he said that they're going to be drought. You know? But there was this man that God loved. His name was Elijah. So he used Elijah to go and tell even the king, because there was a king in that land, in that, in that land of Israel. He was very, uh, he, was, he was a bad king. Uh, as in, he would do things that was not no godly. So, what happened was, this king uh, could do like bad things. He was not a, a godly king. And Elijah was told by God to go and tell the king that they're going to be trapped for such a long time. It, actually, it was three and a half years, and it was a long time. And I could imagine, like the land, it was like very dry. It, it was like a day. I, I know you guys know, like during uh, January, you would find that the plants, they are dry, stuff like that. Dry all, all even like even the ground. It doesn't look so cool because there's, there's no what? There's no rain. So it was like that time when, you know, it was like so dry. But God loved Elijah so, so much. And he had a good plan. He had a good plan for Elijah. So what he told Elijah was to go by the river. There was a, a river that uh, God told Elijah to go in that land of, uh, in, in that land in Israel. So when Elijah went there, unfortunately, do you know what happened? Imagine the river right? The river dried, and then Elijah, Elijah did not have any place, you know, like if any place to take water, and it was so dry. But uh, even at that time, what was happening is he could drink from the river, but imagine something very interesting. He could be fed by the birds. Oh my goodness, imagine yourself being fed by the birds. And the way birds, you know, sometimes they would just come to those people like who live in the rural area, they would just come. They are, they are those very bad birds. 
that can come and they normally come and take the chicks and eat them up. But this time those ravens, they were instructed by God to go and feed the writer. And actually, they could bring the bread to a writer and he could not they could not eat. So he could take uh, the bread from the birds and he could drink from that brook, as in the river that was there. But it came at time and everything tried. And he didn't have anything to do. But one thing is I've learned in life. It is so good to be read by a God. When one thing does not work, he opens another way. So what happened was, Rachel was told by God, because that time, uh, King Ahab, he was so angry. Imagine, he was so angry with the writer. And he was looking for him. And he was not looking for him to give him millions or something good. He, he might be, maybe he was just looking for him to kill him or something like that. Because he was angry because of the report yeah, that he had, that the writer had told King Ahab. So what happened was the writer was still on the move, on the run. He was still on the run. But he was told by God, go to a place. And when he was told to go by the Lord, he was told that he is going to go there. And that lady will feed her. And imagine that lady who was feeding her did not have, you know, he did not have a husband. He was only, it was only through him. It was, it was only through her that you could get what you want, some food. And he had a son. So Erija went there and he got to that place. So what uh, happened was, he was told, you know, a writer was told by this lady, you know what? Because a writer told the lady, just go prepare for me some bread. Because uh, that time I, I can imagine he might have walked for so long to that place and he might have been hungry. So he told this lady, please go and prepare for me some bread. And you can, you can, you, you bring for me water and bring and make some bread for me. Because I can assume he was very hungry. So what happened was, he said, I only have only just, just little fry in the jar for me, for only one day for me to eat with my son and then die. So there was nothing else, nothing else that would have been left when the lady would have shared, would have given to a lady in Latin. But you know what Elijah told this lady? Go and bring for me some bread. But, and by the word of the Lord, the fry in the jar every time will keep coming, coming, coming in. And even the oil that you have, still it will not cease. It will like multiply like every time. Well, so what happened was just the lady just went home brought the bread and the water to this uh, to this man who was a writer and he ate and everything I was like this. so well uh, but unfortunately one day one of the son the son actually the son of this lady you know he fell sick and died and this lady was so angry and he said what was happening? This man of God, you know, who was staying like uh, uh, on the rooftop, you know, I just took him to stay here and look what has happened to my son. He is dead. And Elijah was so sad. He just took the son because the son was ill and then he eventually died. So Elijah took the baby, took him to the uh, to the place where he used to stay, he used to stay like in the in on the roof, uh, like one. I I think it's an upstairs room. So he just took uh, he just took the kid, the baby, to the upstairs room and prayed for the baby. And guess what happened? The baby, imagine he just 
separate for the baby and the baby the dead the dead baby resurrected and he took the baby to this lady to, to her mother now and that lady said I know I'm being a writer and I know from today that you are man of God today we are sharing about sharing what we have from the story we have learned one thing is this lady did not have anything. She had only fra and just a little bread. And actually he didn't even have a, a, a husband who would like give him like more money when he does not have money. But he, you know, but she shared, you know, the little that she had. So it's so good to, to know. That it's so good to share. It's so good to share what you have with your friend. I don't mean that you share everything such that you don't even have anything left for yourself, but it's always good to share. Not only money, but you can share your time. You can see maybe your friend does not have, have not finished the homework. You can assist your, your friend with the homework. You can find out like maybe, like your mom in the, uh, at home has a lot of things to do. And maybe you are out of the school and there's a lot of things that mommy is doing. You can help her. You can share your time by helping her out. So there are many things that you can be able to do to help out. Uh, sometimes you can you can find yourself maybe like your teenager or your adventure and you found out that maybe you've arrived in the church area, you know, than usual. You can take your time, you can like see what the ushers are doing, and you can help out, like you're wiping something, you know, that, that's like sharing your time. And actually, in sharing your time, you also get some uh, skills to do other things, and other things that will help you in life. So God bless you so much. So, our memory first comes from the book of Hebrews 13, 16, it says, do, uh, do not forget to do good and share what you have with those people who are in need. Let us pray. Father, I want to thank you for your great God. I want to thank you, Jehovah God, for teaching us on sharing, O oh God. I pray, O oh Father, that you're going to help us, O oh Lord, even for ourselves, O oh Lord, that you're going to help us, that you're going to share our time. Even to have some time to be with you, Jehovah God. In the things that we do, oh God, even as we go to school, do the things that we are supposed to do, even at home, I pray that we always have time, some time to pray and even read the Bible and spend time with you. And also help those people that you brought in our lives. I want to thank you for your great God. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have yourself a good and a blessed day.